Hey everybody, this is Edward Devos from Live, and we are at a now rainy Greenfield Village in Dearborn. This is exciting. It opens for the season tomorrow. We're about to take a ride, and the first, the first vinyl tea ride of the season. This is an official, authentic 1914 built model T. That's Ray. Ray's going to show us around a little bit. Uh, look, look at over here real quick. The train's about to go and the smoke is, uh, there's a lot of smoke. <laughs> but we're going to, we're going to show you around Greenfield Village a little bit. It opens to the public tomorrow for the season. This is member preview. So all these people that are here are members. And Ray is going to show us around. We're going to take a model T ride. So let's go. Uh, let's do it. Let me try to open the door of a model team. This is a 1914. Alright. It wasn't the, wasn't the most luxurious vehicle in the world. I'll take the camera. You can get in the car too. Here. There we go. We're going to take a little model T ride. Wow. Okay, we're ready to go. We're going to show you a little bit around. As the train gets ready to leave right there. So Melissa, feel free to tell me in my ear some highlights of uh, you know hours and just random things, I guess, and I can let people know tickets. We'll be open Thursday through Monday for the general public, 9.30 to 5. Thursday and, through Monday? Yep, and just, just until June. And then Tuesdays and Wednesdays are members strolling days, so members are welcome to come and walk the village. Okay. People are walking the village today because it just opened for member preview. There's another Model T right there. Is that a Model T? These are all, all Model T's. That's a 1923. This one's a 1927. 1927. See the yellow wheels. Right yep. That's the last year the Model T was made. Oh, okay. The last year the Model T was made. First year was 1908. This is the Model T dock here on our right. So that's people getting in, getting ready to take a ride. All right. And new this year at. The Henry or the Henry Ford Greenfield Village uh, for the first time in what a couple decades? Years. Yeah, first time in 22 years they have a new permanent addition, the Detroit Central Market. So back in the what 1800s, it was kind of like 1861. It was kind of like a farmers market of sorts, and uh, they have rebuilt it. And uh, it's a new permanent addition here, so really cool. So we're in the 1800s right now at Greenfield Village. Look at that horse and buggy. Yep. It's like Mackinac. Yep. These horses are we have about 14 horses here. They work a day and then they're off a day. Now, if you folks, if you've never been to Greenfield Village, this is literally, uh, it's, it's the 1800s. I mean, it's... Uh, that's what it is. There's a ton of buildings from around the world that Henry Ford brought here, uh, the Ford family over the years, uh, like right here, Edison. Yep, this is Edison's Thomas Edison. We'll be coming back around there in a minute. Okay. Thomas Edison's Menlo Park. This building on the right is the Logan County Courthouse, right here, the Brown Building. Logan County Courthouse. Where Gentlemen was this by from? the name of Abraham Lincoln practiced law in there. Oh, so there you go. Abraham Lincoln practiced law at the Logan County Courthouse there. I mean, that's just amazing. All of these buildings, houses, workplaces, all in one place. And it's just a whole village. So if you've never been to Green, this is a world-renowned destination. People come from all over the world here. It's amazing if you've never been to Greenfield Village. And we're in a 1914 Model T if you're just joining us. Ray is showing us around here, our driver. Yeah. So you get to drive around in a Model T all day, huh? I do. I get to drive a Model T all day and meet <laughs> people literally from all over the world. <laughs> That's awesome. see people. people come here from all over. Where have you, uh, where's the farthest you've uh, had some visitors that they told you? Well, let's Australia, see. New uh, Zealand? Oh, yes. Yeah. So it's been Australia, New Zealand, many from uh, Asia, China, Thailand. Oh, okay. Got some folks from Mongolia. Oh, wow. wow. Folks from all over the world. All Northern over the world. Europe, Russia. We had some Russian folks here last year. Okay. So what buildings are these as we're going by? This is, uh, Webster's, the Webster House. Oh, the dictionary guy. The dictionary guy. Oh, that was Webster's yeah. house. And you, this house. Brought I here from, uh, from uh, Connecticut. Brought there here from Connecticut. I have been in there. Yeah, 
beautiful home. Ah, uh, it's really beautiful. cool. Oh, there's the so train. The train coming up. We're running two locomotives today. Two locomotives going. You can also smell the train from here. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's an original Paul locomotive. That train's about 100, 140 years old. Wow, so that Still train running. locomotive is 140 years yeah. old. This building here is you can the ride it. Susquehanna Plantation. That came from the uh, lowland areas of Maryland. It was a plantation around the time of the Civil War. Wow. And it's cotton and uh, lots of uh, corn. This building is interesting. We'll turn around and come by this building here and, and spend a few seconds talking about this building. Just sure. These came from England, believe it or not. Oh, okay. Look at that. The Fords brought these buildings from England. It's the Daggett Farmhouse. It's, um, it's the oldest American building here. It dates to the, the, the uh, around 1700. That building's from the 1700s. Wow. The Daggett, Daggett family from New England. The oldest American building here. Village, which opens for the season tomorrow. This is member preview day. And it's cold and rainy, if you can tell, if you want a little weather report. The Windy. cars don't care. We run the cars in rain, snow. Yeah, you can see they have, they're covered tops. Yeah, covered tops. A little open on the side, so you have to be a little bit prepared for weather. Do the uh, Metal T rides cost extra? I don't even know. If you're a member and you have a ride pass that's included, there's a ride pass. You can buy an annual ride pass. That's the best value. Otherwise, it's $10 per person per ride. Okay. You can get a really good deal with a member with a ride pass that includes the train, the Model T, and a carriage ride. Oh, okay, so you get all the rides you want, yeah. a carriage ride as well. These Model buildings are from Cotswold, England. Cotswold Cottage from England. Yep. Believe it or not, those buildings are 400 years old. 400 years old. So this is... Cotswold it... in the 1600s. Wow. Henry Ford and his wife Clara loved this kind of architecture. So they contracted with stonemasons to take this building apart stone by stone, piece by piece, loaded in a train wagon, take it to the wharf, bring it to New York. It took 17 train cars to bring 400,000 pounds of stone here. Many of the same stone masons that worked on it in England to take it apart came here to put it together. And there's another one of our cars. It's <laughs> awesome. So there you go, that is a 400 year old building. That outdates America right there. Exactly. By math, serves me right. Exactly. And you can see one of our horse and wagon teams down here waiting for some passengers. Yeah. Wow, so we're uh, we're showing you around. This is uh, Greenfield Village, if you've never been here. They have uh, the new Detroit Central Market, new for 2022. First new permanent addition to Greenfield Village in 22 years. It is. It was originally built in the 1860s, and it. We will have the Easter Bunny with us. Oh, the Easter Bunny will be here on Sunday at Greenfield Village. Okay. And we'll have some Easter activities at Firestone Farm and at Edison Homestead. All right. There will be some Easter activities for the kids here, and the Easter Bunny will be here. So that's this Sunday, which makes sense because that is Easter Sunday. I keep forgetting it's Easter, it's a holiday weekend. Today's Good Friday, everybody. Yeah. So I uh, hope everybody's doing well. It's a little chilly, windy out here, and uh, apparently we have a good cell phone connection here in the 1800s. It's, oh, it's great. been steady. Oh, that's great. Uh, of course, this car doesn't have a heater. Oh no, no. We're lucky it has Ford a top. Ford have heaters in cars till 1936. It does not have a windshield wiper. My windshield wiper is right here. <laughs> and to clean the windshield, you just pull it down, wipe it off, and put it back up. So that's, that's how you clean, that's the, how windshield you clean the windshield of the Model T. Yeah, that's the windshield wiper. So, you know, bear with us. We're not like in a Rolls Royce here, folks. We're in a Model T as we're riding around a little bit here at uh, yes. the Henry Ford. And this again is Thomas Edison's Menlo Park complex. Came from Menlo Park, New Jersey. Wow. Brought here by. Uh, Thomas Edison's Menlo it was Park here, was brought here in Thomas Edison's lifetime. He did see the building. Oh, okay. In fact, when we opened in 1929, they recreated the moment that uh, Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. And uh, he sat in the chair and went through all the all the uh, actions he went through. And Henry Ford had that chair nailed to the floor. So wow. It's inside the building, it's nailed to the floor. And this is the historic carousel that's mm -hmm. here. Two years older than this Model T. It's 1912. 1912 carousel, right there. Very cool. 
beautiful, beautiful artwork. A lot of people waiting in line again. This is members preview only today. This is our playground. Very, very, very uh, famous with the kids. They really like it. Today, the bad weather, I don't think we're, uh, don't think we're running today. <laughs> so that's a nice little playground so for the kids. Take a, we can take a little detour. Uh, let's go, we'll go up here and we'll stop a second and show you that brand new Central Market. Oh, well, good. We're going to see the Central Market, right. Detroit Central Market, brand new for 2022 here at Greenfield Village in Dearborn, which opens for this season officially tomorrow. Today is member preview day. I really wanted to see the central, oh, here it is on the left, I believe. Here's the central market. I'll come down this way just so you can okay. get a better view of it. So it's kind of like a it's kind of like an Eastern market in, in Detroit, or it's a lot of goods and, and food, or what is it? Predates Eastern market, predates. The Central Market kind of lost the amount of people that would come to it. So it, it survived in the city until 1894. And then they moved the building to Belle Isle until the 1990s. And then they contacted us and we acquired the building in 2003 and saved it from demolition. So you've had this thing for 20 years. We have, but it, took, it takes a while. Um, a lot of our, it looks like just a building, but there's a lot of architectural engineering underneath the building to make sure it's safe, it's up to code, and keeps the building down on the ground. There's a special frame even built for it called the Momentum Platform, um, and which keeps the building structurally sound without, with, and can withstand these heavy winds on days like today. Okay. Yeah. 1861, originally, originally built in uh, Detroit. And uh, predates Eastern Market. Really cool. So new for 2022. We're giving tours all weekend of the space. Our curator of agriculture and our director of Greenfield Village are both doing tours every half hour of the space. Okay. So every half hour they're doing uh, tours of the Detroit Central Market. Brand new for 2022. So very cool, folks. So just giving you a little, little tour of... Greenfield Village aboard this 1914 built original Model T. Model T, 177 cubic inch engine, 20 horsepower. 20 horsepower. I think I can run faster than this thing. This car can do 45 miles an hour. No, I can't run faster than this thing. It can go 45 <laughs> miles an hour. 45 miles an hour. <laughs> and the roads were not as good as this. No, when there the model... wasn't much paved roads at all. <laughs> Time this was built, very few, less than five percent of the roads. Were yeah, paved. this thing guy uh, rode on so, dirt roads. Yeah, and, exactly. Yeah. This, this this car can ride almost anywhere. You can see a couple more of our wonderful perch around horses here. Hey, we gotta wait for the horse and buggy here. I feel yes. like I'm on Mackinac Island right now. Uh, horses have right of way with us. Horses have right away here on Gre at Greenfield Village. So, in case we were wondering. <laughs> so this building here on the right is the, uh, that's the Roundhouse. Roundhouse. In Southern Michigan. And that was the last building to be brought here around 2000. Okay. And that is where we do all the repair of our locomotives. Okay, so, so they unlike all the many locomotives, places, you can see one of the locomotives in there getting repaired right now. Yeah, I can see it. Unlike many places, they rely on other people, third parties. We have our own mechanics. I didn't know that. So they repair their own locomotives yeah. right here on site. And these are, you know, like you said, they're historic Absolutely. locomotives still running over. Absolutely. The one, one we saw was over 140 years old. Yeah. So. This is our glass works here on the right, our glass shop, where we do our own glass blowing. We do a lot of artwork, glass art in here. Built in 1930, yeah. where they do their own glass inside. blowing, glass works. There's a narrator showing you all the various steps. In fact, if you look through that window, you can see a uh, red. Red oh, yeah. flame in the fire. See the red flame right yeah, there. That's a, that's a glass furnace right there. Glass Molten furnace. Glass. Very cool. Molten glass. Molten glass. Again, this if you've is never Liberty been. Craft Work area. Okay, so we're the so Liberty we have a lot Craft of our Work craft area. craft areas. We have tin shop where we do some tin smithing. We have a print shop. Tin smithing. We print shop. Pottery shop. We make all kinds of pottery that we, uh, many custom made pieces that we sell. Oh, cool. Oh, look, she's doing some printing right there. Here. We make yeah. lumber that we uh, we cut lumber that we use in our in our for our buildings. Very cool. So yeah, I have been in all of these buildings. It's really neat. And in the distance, that brick building—that's a Firestone Farm from Ohio, 
And that was Harvey Firestone, the tire guy. That was his family. Oh, the the Firestone Farm. Working the tire farm. guy. We have yeah. sheep and cows and all kinds of fun stuff. Yep. Very cool. So this gentleman's taking a picture of the Model T that we're in because exactly. it's really cool. That is the that's the horn. So the horn is is literally it's a bald horn. It's yeah, it's, just, it's a bald horn. The lights on this on this car are actually acetylene gas. So they use acetylene gas. They didn't have electric lights till 1950. Wow. So when we run in the evenings here, we do some evening programs. We have to run with the gas lights, which are always interesting. That's the larger mill. See the water wheel running the mill and the grist mill. Of course, we have our wonderful Liberty Craft Work store where you can purchase items we make here. And this is Armington Sims Machine Shop. Machine right? Shop and Foundry. That was a, that's a, around a circa 1900 machine shop that would have provided parts to Henry Ford and other car makers for the automobiles they assembled. Wow, over 100 years old. 100 years old. I mean, so many things here are over 100 years old. That's what makes it great, so. Now here. the interesting thing about operating this car, <laughs> there's three pedals. Three pedals. Three pedals. So the, my right foot over here, this is the brake. My left foot is gear shift. So I give the car gas up here. Uh -huh. I push down on the left pedal. That's first gear. I take the gas off up here. I bring the pedal out. That's second gear. <laughs> Two speeds. So the average human could not drive this if well, they've never... Well, it takes a little training. <laughs> and then to stop, Without I training. push halfway down as neutral. All the way down to stop. Wow. And for me to back up... I push halfway down on the left is neutral. The middle pedal with the R is reverse. Give it a little gas. The car backs up. Pretty cool. Huh. Are we finished? Very neat. That's good. No, we're good. Yeah. So I appreciate you showing us around here. This is Ray. And again, you can uh, come to Greensville Village if you're a member today. What time does it open till today? Till 5 p.m. today. Till 5 p.m. today. That opens for the season two tomorrow. Another locomotive. This is a diesel locomotive. So we run the steam on one side, the diesel on the other. Look at the sheep. Oh, the running. sheep. See the sheep. They don't care for that horn. <laughs> they don't mind this horn, though. Yeah, that's. Oh, careful, kids running across the street. Yeah. There's a Model T coming. Yeah, well, we're <laughs> we're always cautious of uh, little people running around. I mean, I wouldn't count on the brakes on this thing. <laughs> oh, this <laughs> necessarily. Works great. No, it works great. The car works great. The brakes work great. Yeah. Do they do a lot of maintenance on these vehicles? We do. We have our own garage here. We have 14 Model Ts. We have our own mechanics. 14 Model Ts on site. And they're all from work. different yeah. years, too. They're a lot, yeah. of, a lot of different years. This one's exactly. 1914. This one has just been redone. As you can see, it's uh, all, all... I know. It looks up. new, yeah. yeah. it looks brand Restored. new. Restored. Yeah. All right. We, we rebuild our own engines. We, wow. We replace them every few years. So here we are back at the beginning. All right. Well, thank you for showing us around, Ray. My and I pleasure, right? hope everybody enjoyed a tiny little tour. Not a tiny little tour, a little tour. <laughs> it's a big park of Greenville Village. I don't know how to open the door here. here. We're going to show you the Model T from the outside as well here. Thank you, Ray. Yep. Take care, Melissa. And uh, Greenville Village opens for the season tomorrow. Sun's back out, and there's Ray and the Model T. So if you want to watch a little tour... You can watch the video back from the beginning. Again, this is members preview. Greenfield Village opens for the season tomorrow. Again, tell everybody the hours, the, uh, the days. Yep, Greenfield Village will be open tomorrow and for the rest for up until June, Mon or Thursday through Monday, 9:30 to 5, and then member strolling days on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, 9:30 to 5. When does it open? Seven days a week. It'll open in June, seven days a week. In June, and yeah. what are tickets prices? I refer people to check the website is the best place to get up-to-date ticket information okay. and to purchase your ticket. And you can also purchase uh, memberships, right? Yeah, memberships yeah. as well. That's and, a great way to go. And I mean, also yeah. tickets to Thomas the Tank, who is returning after two years. So. Yeah, oh yeah. So when does Thomas come? So Thomas is here May 13th.
13th through 15th and then the following weekend as well. So Friday through Sunday for two weeks and tickets are on sale now. Yeah, that's very popular. You got to get your tickets now if you want to get uh, your kids on time. Let's take engines. They go fast, so I'm recommending them today. Very cool. And that's in uh, second and third weekends of May. So, all right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed a little Model T ride here at Greenfield Village. Of course, the sun comes back out right when we're done. <laughs> but uh, it's a beautiful day now out here. Greenfield Village opens for the season tomorrow. Today is member preview. Thanks for watching. This is Edward Pivos for M Live, along with Melissa <laughs> and Ray. Ray is gone now. Gave us a tour. So thanks for watching.